Okay, so today I'm going to put together <coughs> kind of a pad tie with some turnip, beautiful turnip from the garden. Um, actually, I'm not going to cut that off. I'm going to cut this off because I want to um, have a good solid base for my handy little cutter here. So this is my spiralizer, which works really, really well. And i um, just going to... I've got some salt and pepper here already. Um, so the, the thing kind of... Can you see it through there? Yeah. So it kind of goes like this. And you know what? I put it in upside down. <laughs> I'm going to get the stem in there. Okay, let me get that around. And... Um, I am so funny. Okay, let's get rid of this. We'll just... Oh, probably there's nutrients in the stem too, I'm sure. But, um, yeah, so stem up and good side down. <laughs> okay, let's go for it again. And so here we go, spiralizing. And using your muscles, who needs to go to the gym? Okay, so you can use your little turn up or um, you could use rutabagas. You could use any root vegetables. I kind of was thinking of using beets, except that, see, there's a little stem that I didn't want. Look at that, beautiful. Um, the beets will stain it really red, which is, which is fine too, you know, it's all good, but uh, for color wise. And I, I don't really want spaghetti noodles. I mean, it's awesome, but, you know, just for ease of eating, I'd rather have them a little bit less long. So I'm going to put them in my bowl here. And then I'm going to add some carrot. And if you can get, for your spiralizer, if you can get nice fat carrots like this, um, that's really good because, um, you know, because it, it just... They kind of flop around and it doesn't work so good with a little skinny carrot. So again, whatever the size is to get in there. And again, getting your little... Of course, you could do this with an electric food processor too, which would be a lot less muscle. Um, so that's fine, but I like, <laughs> I like trying to stay in shape however I can without going to the gym. Okay, so you can see that's really lovely there too. And again, I'm going to just give it a little chop. Um, the other thing for a lot of these um, Thai noodle recipes is they make it in uh, skinny, like straighter noodles. But this works for me. I don't really, not really too fussy with anything like that. Well, maybe I should do the skinny end down and the wider end up. So it has something to grab. Okay, so on with the next piece of carrot. That's probably all about, about all the carrot that I'll need because, um, yeah, I don't know. You could add more if you want. See, this is skinnier, so it's taking longer. Gotta feel the burn. <laughs> okay. Definitely feeling the burn. Okay, so more carrot with this. I have some uh, Garden Fresh organic zucchini. Um, I don't think I want to use the whole thing. I think I'll use part of it. Let's see here. The straight part so that it'll spiralize easier. Okay, so take the little carrot off here. And this is, unfortunately, oh, look at that. It's soft in the middle. That's what you get for organic, but it's worth it. I'm not going to use that, though. Um... Here's a better piece. Let's go for this. Just the right size for the spiralizer. All these things happen, so it's always good to have a plan B. OK, 
Okay, this will work really good because the zucchini is soft, so it doesn't take nearly the muscle to get a bunch of zucchini in there. Okay, so getting that, and I think I'll add a little bit of the yellow zucchini too, just for color. Oh, look at that, pretty. So there's that. I know this is taking longer than 15 minutes. I usually try and stick to my 15 minute recipes <clears throat> because I don't usually have that much time. But um, sometimes, some things, oh, that's not spinning. Sometimes some things are worth, oh see, that's why it's got the zucchini stuck on the top. Uh, some things are worth spending more than 15 minutes on. And of course, if I did the food processor, it would it would no doubt be faster and go zip, zip, zip right along. But there's something about doing things by hand, the old-fashioned way. Okay, so that's a lovely yellow color. And I've got some broccoli here. I'm just going to cut that up and add that to... Okay, so pretty much all you need after that is the uh, sauce, which we're going to make out of garlic, ginger, almond butter, and lime. Okay, leave that out of the way. I think we're finished with that. A little more broccoli. Okay. Make sure your broccoli pieces are little. Okay, so here's pretty much what we've got here happening. And um, I have my handy little, actually let me get the rest of this in here. Okay, my handy little garlic press. I love this thing, works really good. It has a little dish here that goes inside and then you take your garlic. And you know, I find it such a, bit of a pain to um, try and open that garlic. So the best way to do it is smash it and the peel comes right off, which is super awesome. And smash that and there you go, a nice garlic. So put that in, get the garlic all in there. I don't have fresh lime, I wish I did. So I'm gonna use this which appears to be new. It must have the new child-proof lock on it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let me get my unscrewer thing here. A little rubber thing that unscrews most things. except for lime. Do we need lime? That is just bizarre. Okay, there has to be a way of getting this open without hurting myself. Aha! Did it. Okay, got some lime. <laughs> Now that's good. And make sure your lines open before you start cooking because that's worth, you know, a few minutes right there. I have my lovely almond butter and um, it's very, um, has lots of oil on it already, which is beautiful. So I'm just going to dribble that right on there. And that's probably enough. I'd say about a teaspoon or so. Depends how, how much you like the uh, pad thai with the nut flavor. Okay, so next step here. See, beautiful. Oh, I forgot the ginger. I have a little bit of ginger here, and I'm actually going to grate that um, because I want it pretty fine. I'm going to grate some. There we go. 
And again, it depends on how much ginger you like. I'd say probably a teaspoon, heaping teaspoon, because I like ginger. Get that in there. Okay. So, looks beautiful. You could serve it just like that. So I'm going to mix it all together. And that's about it. Just make sure it's really thoroughly mixed. Add some salt and pepper to it. Um, and voila, your lovely kind of Thai salad. I'll add some pepper here. You can add some cayenne if you want. And then, and then enough um, lime to taste. Okay, so look at that. Beautiful. There we go. Okay, so for more recipes, go to GeorginaSear.com. Have a good day.